All right, this is Alex. I'm back with this Corbin lock, attempting to get it controlled this time. So everything's nice and loose. I think I may have had some pins like not releasing or something. And I'm coming in with a different pick because I'm, um, I think that other one needs a little tune up. So let's go all the way in the back of the keyway. So that's about the back of the keyway there. Now, how's your view? Kind of shitty. Try to get out of the way there. Now, let's see what we got here. Feeling along. These are funny little locks. So I haven't quite figured out how they work yet, mechanically. So. The, uh, it's a set. Trouble getting back in or around one of these guys. It's kind of odd because this queue is enormous. But also has very long pins, so let's get something with better leverage. I diamond. Which you can just push the principal. Or just drop everything. There we go. The frickin' battering ram through there. Now let's see where we're at. <laughs> oh, whatever it was, it really wanted to set. I wonder if we're dealing with some kind of security feature here. Other than just good tolerances. There it is. Or I just was really close. So that was probably the last pin. I just need to get around him. So there it is. Pick to control. You can see it turned there. All right. There it is released. And one more time with the key. Here's the amazingly high security bidding on this thing. But these are both labeled control from whomever I got these from. And this is the one that works. And the other key, which really looks identical, um, doesn't. Doesn't work. It didn't work even before I picked it. So who knows? Anyway, Corbin, um, large format interchangeable core cylinder, pick to control. 
and uh, that makes me feel much better. Um, anyway, this is Alex. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And as always, have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.